monkey friends today we're making herring two ways herring and oil with onions and herring salad welcome back friends this is Polish kitchen and my name is Anna and here I teach you how to make delicious Polish food delicious herring is on the menu today one would say it may not be delicious that's me I say that no but it is we're going to be doing herring two ways today. Uh, one really traditional, simple way you can find it at any, uh, pretty much any Polish restaurants going around the country or probably even outside. And one, we're going to make one salad. So we'll start with our simple herring in onions. And to do this, I have prepared a jar. I like it when I can close it and I can store it in my fridge, but it also looks nice on the table. So I'm using a jar like this, and for it, for this recipe, and all recipes, as always, on poacherkitchen.com, uh, we're gonna need a couple of onions that I have sliced thinly on a mandolin, really, really thin. Uh, we wanna take uh, some of the sharpness away from the onion because we're gonna be eating it raw. So. I have sliced the two onions, placed it on a strainer, and then boiled a pot of uh, hot water, about two liters of water in there, and then I just poured the boiling water over my onions. And what that does is it'll take some of the crunch away and some of the sharpness and spiciness from the onion, and then when we mix it with our herring, it's not gonna give us that kind of strong onion flavor. So, <clears throat> So to make our recipe, I'm placing the two sliced onions and they have cooled, uh, they have cooled by now, so they're not hot anymore. I'm placing it just straight in a jar. We don't need to be doing a whole lot of mixing, so this will work for me. And then, not much to it really, just the onions. I have uh, seeds of allspice and they're really strong, the little berries like this, I'm just gonna put I have five here, just for the whole jar. They're gonna be, they're gonna give us a little bit extra, a little bit of extra flavor. And then the herring that we wanna use for this recipe is the herring fillet, fillets, fillets, that uh, in Poland on the packaging, you'll find it say uh, fillets a la Matias. And what those are, they look like this. And this is herring that has been cured by sitting in salt, or salty brine, rather. And after they've been uh, curing in salt, then for packaging, they put them in oil. So the package will, will show oil in it, like those fil fillets are sitting in oil, but they're actually cured, salted cured herring fil fillets. Um, if you can't find the salted fillets, you can, um, what can you do? I don't know, I was gonna ask you that question, what did you do in the States when you made this? Um, I, this recipe really is just for those in oil or those kind of salted uh, fillets and I understand those may be sometimes hard to find. And most of the time we would find the, the fillets in vinegar kind of based um, brine. So this is not, not the recipe for the vinegar ones. So maybe they can find them online. Maybe huh? you can search online uh, for, the, for the fillets and oil. Um, and they are ready to eat. And as you could see, mine were sitting in water. Uh, because sometimes when you buy them, they can be kind of strong and really salty. So for, for you beginner <laughs> herring consumers, It'd probably be a good idea to soak them for about an hour and I just poured a bunch of cold water over uh, over my fillets and they were just sitting and soaking in water. If you love the strong flavor of herring, you don't have to do this. I don't always do it. Sometimes I do it if, um, if I want to or whatever. <laughs> so then I just take them out and just pat them dry a little bit and they're gonna be eaten straight they're not going to be processed anymore. So I like to cut them kind of so they look nice. So I cut them into bite-sized pieces like this at an angle 
So then whoever wants to eat them, they'll just dish out this kind of, not a huge big piece of fish and, and have it. So you just slice these and you put them in the jar. So for this recipe, I'm going to do two fillets and take the second one. And I like to, when I first cut it, I like to taste it. And nice and salty and really fishy. This is a, a rather strong fish, but I love the taste of it. it. It reminds me of home and it's one of those flavors that is super uh, kind of uh, super Polish, I would say, right? Yes. Yes. And I just love it. I grew up eating it and I just love herring. So we have our herring, we have our onions, and we have a little bit of the uh, allspice berries. And to it, not much more. I'm going to add a few sprinkles, a few turns of the pepper grinder. And you can go as heavy as you'd like. And for a little bit of color, I'm just going to do a little parsley. Because it adds a nice freshness to the dish and it also makes it look a little bit nicer. Making noise here. <laughs> and this parsley is very aromatic. Feel free to turn your smell of vision on right about now. And that Unless goes. You don't like fish. Unless you're like, don't turn on the <laughs> Mark will not be tasting this with us today. No, no man. No, no man. <laughs> and our dish is pretty much done. All, all uh, there is to add is just oil. And we'll add as much as we want, uh, but enough to cover our fish and onions. And what kind of oil are we using? And I'm using oil that is not very uh, strong in flavor. Mine is grapeseed oil. Uh, you can use your favorite oil that doesn't give us a whole lot of flavor because we don't want um, we want to uh, taste the onions and the herring we don't want to taste the oil this is just pretty much to for it to kind of sit and, and and kind of wait for it when we're ready to eat it and our dish is done and with uh, this week and next week, we're going to be celebrating the last of Carnival in Poland. And Śledzik is on Tuesday, on America's Fat Tuesday, Poles celebrate Ostatki, which is um, also called Śledzik, little herring. And everybody will be eating herring, including me. So this is done. We'll do our tasting at the end. I'm just going to set it aside. What's your question? So now, is that refrigerated? This is refrigerated. Okay, and how long does it hang on the fridge till you start going, oh, no, no, no? It'll hang on for quite a quite a bit, a couple weeks. Okay, Yeah. because it, it is a salted fish. It is salted fish, and it's sitting in oil, so the onion is probably the thing that will uh, start going first, but um, this is only two fillets, and I will eat this in a couple days, so no big deal. <laughs> so I'm just going to set it aside until we're ready to, to, to taste it, let the flavor kind of marry a little bit more. Yes. Now you can't just keep adding more fish and more onions to fill up however the, the jar. Um, I would start over every time, start fresh. No, I mean, if you're making this recipe like mm -hmm. you are today, mm -hmm. you only use two fillets, mm -hmm. but there's nothing saying you can't use seven fillets oh, yeah. or more onions. You can do more onions, more fillets. This is kind of make it your own recipe. Uh, the basic ingredients, onions, fillets, oil, uh, and parsley. You can add a different herb if you prefer, I don't know, marjoram or thyme or, or whatever, whatever else, dill even, and kind of try it and make it, make it your own. But um, this is just kind of basic to get you started. So that's done. Uh, next, we're going to go to our salad. And for, for our second recipe, we're going to do a herring salad and I'm going to take my fillets and we're using the same uh, type of fillet. So it's the salted uh, filete a la Matias and that's what it's going to say on the package. Uh, and for the salad, I suppose you, if you can't get these salted ones, it would be a little bit more 
Uh, it would be okay to do the herring in, in kind of wine sauce. Uh, and you would then just take them out of the sauce and kind of pat them dry and cut them to kind of the, the bite-sized pieces that, that you're going for. So I'm just gonna move this water out. Okay, so for this salad, we're gonna be using a variety of vegetables and I have cooked beets here and it's one large beet about this size, two cups cooked and diced beets and I went for a rather small dice because I want it to look nice in my salad. And how are these cooked? And this one, you will, you will take a whole beet, unpeeled, just wash it really good, scrub it with a brush, and you can either boil it in water, and for larger beets like this, it'll probably take about 40 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Or you can bake it at 350, it'll probably take about an hour. And then after it's boiled, you will peel it, and cool it a little bit, obviously, and then dice it to about this size. So I have... So a raw beet is nice and bright red, mm -hmm. and a cooked beet is a dark, deep red. It is. Um, that internet? <laughs> and then I have three kind of medium potatoes, and I also boil them in, um, in their peels. I scrubbed the peel well, and I diced it to match about the same size. And I have one apple that I haven't cut yet because I don't want it turning brown. And I have pickles. And these are the type of pickles. Uh, they're not the briny, salty brine type pickles. Those are uh, pickles that we call conservove. And what that means is that they've been preserved in vinegar-based uh, brine. And I like the brand Bacic. They are available in America or on bacic.com. And Turn it the other way, goofball. This way? Yeah. Oh, okay. And oh, it even says this cucumber, cucumbers pickled in vinegar, uh, vinegar pickle. Um, so they're a little bit different from the salt brine pickles, and they're a little bit more similar to kind of American style regular pickle. This partic particular kind, they're nice and crunchy because they're in, in vinegar. Uh, they're a little bit, they're, they're a little bit sweet. Uh, because this, this this particular jar has some peppers and onions in it, but you can just use your favorite pickle. It could be uh, dill pickle, or it could be bread and butter pickle, or uh, deli pickle, whatever you can find, but go for the vinegar based. And I have a third of a cup of uh, raisins and third of a cup of walnuts that I've chopped and some mayo, uh, a quarter of an onion that I've diced, kind of small, and we're gonna be using dill for this recipe. We have to now slice our, our, um, our herring, and I also like to go with rather small dice for this, kind of to match my beets and my onions, um, my potatoes. So I kind of go like this, about this size. And I'm doing it on my plate because they're kind of stinky. You might <laughs> have to burn your cutting board. And then I want to, right, and then you're, you even either have a cutting board that you're using only for fish or I normally just cut them on my plate. Make sure to use a nice sharp knife for this so you're not just m mangling. That's not a word. Mainly? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your fish. And we're going to just add it to our bowl here. And also, if you're a beginner herring consumer, <laughs> you may, uh, may want to go more or less with the fish. And then we're going to add our beets. And we're going to add our taters, diced potatoes. They're also cooled. And I'm gonna add our pickles, and I have about four medium-sized pickles, and I did a little bit smaller dice on these, uh, just because they will look nicer in my salad. I eat with my eyes, or I guess we all do. We eat with our eyes first. I eat with my mouth, you're weird. So I like to make my food kind of look nice, so. And then I'm gonna add my raisins. 
and walnuts. I've diced these or just kind of roughly chopped them. And I have the quarter of an onion. And that goes in and then at the end we're gonna add dill but at this time I'm gonna add some mayo probably a nice large heaping spoon tablespoon and I'm gonna give this a stir and let these flavors start to kind of get acquainted and then at the end we're gonna add the apple I can probably add a little bit of pepper at this time too so my vegetables were salted when they were boiling. Potatoes were salted. Uh, the beet was salted. Pickles have some salt already to them and a little bit of kind of sweetness. Some, and the herring is definitely salty, so I'm not adding any salt at this time. I am gonna taste it once all of my flavors combine. I will give it a taste and then decide whether I wanna add more salt to it or not. Now this is not going to be a super wet salad. You can see the vegetables still. So I'm going to set this over here. And I got to wash my knife even though I'm going to just get a clean one. <laughs> I have more than one. <laughs> Don't laugh at my jokes. <laughs> Okay, so I have the apple diced to this size. This is the dice that I have. It's pretty small. It looks nice. And we're gonna add it all to our pink salad. And we're gonna give this a stir. And our salad is almost done. Doesn't it look pretty? Very pretty. Does it look weird because it's pink? Yes. It's pink fish salad, so that's weird for me. But it's very Polish. It's very Polish. And I don't think I'm going to add any more mayo. I kind of want it looking like this so you can still see. Mm -mm. Oh, it's a potato. And last but not least, I'm going to add, I'm just going to do a little garnish of dill. We're, we're going full Polak today. Dill beets, <laughs> Harry. <laughs> and allspice. Yeah, we're, all we need is like kielbasa. <laughs> <laughs> so this will probably make a couple of tablespoons of dill. And we'll give this a quick chop. And we'll add this to our salad. Now I'm ready to eat, I don't know about you. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just going to mix this real quick. And I have plates for tasting. I didn't steal a pickle. <laughs> and I'm going to start with my herring in oil first. Oil with onions. Do you recommend that that sits a certain time to marry it, up? Yeah, it's, pr it's probably good for it to let it sit in the fridge for a little while. Uh, maybe a couple hours, maybe overnight, um, but you know, just the flavors will kind of combine and there'll be it'll, the herring will get will take on a little bit of the onion and you would serve it just like this. This little bit of onion, nice dark rye bread. This is some graduate level Polishness. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Poland. <laughs> mm, yum. The herring is not super strong in it. You can definitely taste fish and it's a little salty, but we took some of that salt out with having it soaking in water. And the onion you can already taste. It gives it a little bit of flavor and onions not super sharp or strong. It's a great combination of uh, the oniony and salty and a little bit of the pepper. And since it's sitting in oil, polls say that it lines <laughs> your, uh, your stomach so you're, you can have a few drinks and you're <laughs> not gonna get drunk so quickly. That's what we drink it for last day of uh, Carnaval before Lent starts. And then our salad, 
we'll give this a little serving. Mm, look gorgeous. It's very pretty. And it should have nice combinations of flavor here too. Mm. Right away we get the, a little bit of the crunch from uh, from our walnuts in there and sweetness from the apple and again the fish is not over taking the flavor of the salad at all and the apple also gives us a little bit of freshness to it it's gorgeous that's what i'm eating today what are you eating today not that <laughs> all right friends i hope you liked my recipes today go to polishyourkitchen.com and check out many many more Visit, visit us again on Friday when we go, when we close our kitchen and we go show you culinary Poland and check out my merch store for some aprons and t-shirts and other, other wonderful stuff. And please subscribe to let us know you like our videos and come back and watch us again. Smachnego!